Okay, friends, back again here with Joe Nice 76 for another stimulus update for the third stimulus check. Okay, friends, I want to start out by saying the new stimulus bill is finally out, and I have some good news and some bad news. Friends, uh, okay, this the bill is 591 pages long, and we are going to uh, only be covering the stimulus checks part. We uh, <clears throat> will uh, discuss the rest of it in a later update, friends. Okay, friends, a little bad news here. This next stimulus check for $1,400 is considered a tax credit against your 2021 taxes. Of course, if you don't uh, file and you're on SSI, SSDI, Railroad Retirement, or VA benefits, you don't have to file. So, uh, you're at, you are, uh, <clears throat> you don't have to file. You're uh, an eligible non-filer, but let's get into uh, some more here. Friends, also the amount, as uh, we said, is $1,400. Uh, this is the actual bill that got released today. Well, got released the other day <clears throat> by the House of Representatives. Also, uh, it's $1,400 if you're uh, filing single and $2,800 if you're filing jointly. Uh, plus, you will get $1,400 multiplied by the number of dependents you have. So this means all dependents, not just child dependents, friends. So uh, some good news uh, here. Also, now to be eligible for this stimulus check, it's a little... Uh, a little different than the first two and uh, any non-resident alien is not eligible so basically if you don't have a social security number you will not be eligible for this stimulus check also if you're a dependent and uh, your family filing uh, your own taxes by also but also being claimed as a dependent on someone else's taxes you will also not get a stimulus check so some more bad news there, friends. Also, uh, limitations. So basically, uh, once uh, once you reach certain thresholds, the amount of the check will go to zero, meaning you will get nothing. So if you're a single filer that makes th uh, $100,000, you will not receive a stimulus check. Also, if you file head of a household, and hit $150,000, you will not receive a stimulus check. And if you are uh, filing jointly and you hit $200,000, you won't receive a stimulus check, friends. These are the new cutoff points for uh, for this third stimulus package. Also, if you don't have your uh, Social Security number listed on your taxes, you won't be receiving a stimulus check, friends. Uh, so... Uh, you and your uh, kids need uh, social security numbers to uh, receive this new stimulus check. Okay, moving on, friends. Also, for adoption purposes, in the case of a in the case a dependent who was adopted or placed for adoption, the term valid identification number shall include adoption taxpayer identification number. Okay, also a special rule for uh, members of the armed forces. This rule uh, that you uh, have to have a social security number. A social will not apply where uh, at least one spouse was a member of the armed forces of the United States at any time during the taxable year and the valid identification number of at least one spouse is included so if at least one spouse has a social security number and was included on the tax return and uh, one was in the armed forces you are eligible for the stimulus check friends also if uh, someone passed away before january the first 2021 they will not be eligible for a stimulus check i mean i don't know why they put that in there but they did they uh, they will be treated as a as having a uh, no social security number. Also, if uh, you receive a uh, 
preloaded card for the last once or two, uh, one or two times. For the first and second stimulus package, if you receive a preloaded card, they will not be preloading these either. They will be issuing new uh, cards for the third stimulus check. But still, hang on to your cards, guys, because you never know what's going to happen. But uh, just hang on to your cards, and if they send you a new one, they send you a new one, right? But if they don't, if they do decide to change their mind and preload that one from the second stimulus pack check, you'll still have it. But guys, as gals, that's all I've had for the day. Um, y'all have a good day, guys. If y'all are out there driving, please be careful. And if y'all are new to this uh, channel, guys, and y'all like seeing these updates, please like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Helps the channel grow. And I appreciate the heck out of it, guys. I'll catch y'all on the next update. Y'all have a great night. Thank you.